What's up, my name's Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to reset your Hertzner VPS server and install a different operating system. For me, I'm switching from Debian to Ubuntu and I have my server auction server over here. Doesn't really matter what it is. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I just use these people. They work pretty well. They've got very good support. So why not support them and create some content? To change your operating system at the very top, click Linux or of course Windows if you're switching to that and from the drop down here simply select what you'll be going to in my case i'll be going to ubuntu 2204 lts base then select a language and if you'd like a public key to connect with for me i'll be leaving this out i'll click i'm aware and activate linux installation this will simply wipe everything on the computer and start the installation and right over here we can see what we'll log into the server with in my case root and here's my password so i'll copy all of this info and open up a new notepad file with start and r notepad and i'll simply paste it in here so we can get access to this later on now we'll need a tool to ssh into our server i'll be using Using Visual Studio Code, though it doesn't really matter what you use, you can use WinSCP, SSH, PuTTY, etc. Whatever you want, just as long as you can connect to your server here. The IP address is listed in the top right here as IPv4 and IPv6 in case you'd like to do it that way. And of course, we have our username and password here. In this case, the default root account. Awesome. So now our system has successfully been activated and all we need to do is reboot our server. So head across to reset and choose execute an automatic hardware reset, then send. Now our server will start rebooting. All we need to do is open up VS Code, whatever we'll be working in, and set up our connection. To connect to the server, I'll use the absolute simplest method, which is built into Windows. I'll open up a new terminal and I'll type in SSH space, followed by my username at, and then the IP address of my server, assuming I don't hit control C, hit enter, and it'll be connected to it. If you see anything about the known host changing, simply open up this folder over here and delete the known hosts file. Then we'll try again, and this time we should be prompted for a password, which I am, so I'll say yes, rather yes, then enter the password, put it in, and hit enter, and now we're connected to it over here. So let's start the installation on Hertzner. All we need to do is type in install image and hit enter. Then the install image program will start up and we can start installing our OS. In my case, I'll use the arrow keys down to Ubuntu and hit enter. Then we can select a version. I'll be choosing 2204, enter, enter once more, and we'll set up our actual server settings itself. Inside of here, we'll be setting up the kind of RAID that we'll be using. We have the option of zero and one on this computer as we have two identical hard drives or rather SSDs. Because I'll have my own backups set up, I won't need any kind of RAID. I'll be using software RAID zero, which will just attach the two drives together, giving me one bigger storage. I'll have activate software RAID on set to one, then the software RAID level set to zero, as I won't need any redundancy. Scrolling down, we'll need to set a host name for it, which in my case, I'll make my website. So techno.co. Then we can choose IPv4 only. In my case, I'll be ignoring this, scrolling all the way down, checking the rest of these settings and changing them as necessary. Currently, I know I don't need to change anything else. So I can hit F2 to save, then enter and F10 to quit. Then I'll hit enter once more on yes, yes. And the installation will then start. Then when we're done with everything, all we need to do is restart. So I'll type in reboot now, and you can see the server restarts. Now, when it restarts, we should be able to connect to the server in just a few minutes. Once again, I'll reopen the terminal, SSH, root at, followed by the IP address, hit enter, and you can see the identity has changed. So once more, I'll open up this file, delete the known hosts files, try once more, then yes, and enter the same password we have before. Now you can see we're on root techno ls, we have the snap directory and ls slash. We have all of our Ubuntu files here. So we're now successfully running Ubuntu on our Hertzner VPS. It's as simple as that to change your operating system on Hertzner. So hopefully you found something useful in this video. If you'd like to see more guides, do let me know what you'd like to see and check the description down below for playlists, linked videos, etc. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.